you want to build an analysis otba oracle transaction business intelligence otba dashboards or analysis so which is mainly used go for uh, check your uh, options for example i would like to see my payroll result so you can go to payroll dashboard and you can check your uh, payroll options from here so this type of uh, dashboards we want to build uh, then otba analysis is used otba analysis and dashboards we are going to build up this for example if we look at our uh, account payables our invoices or we would like to see the employee performance our employee goals or talent review success and plans type of things so there is a concept called infolet by using infolet you can attach your uh, otba analysis to your page otba analysis to our page we can go for attach And it seems there is some problem in the application. Let me refresh. So we can go to analysis directly from here in case if we want to build any OTBA reports type of things. Or we can go to reports from there also we can navigate to the analysis. From there also we can go for navigation of analysis. Go to analysis option here. Now system is going to ask you uh, select the subject area. By using which subject area you would like to go for uh, build analysis or even if we go to report environment As we discussed, uh, whenever we go to new menu, uh, this all options comes are uh, OTBA options, analysis, dashboard build, dashboard prompts, nothing but a prop parameters, conditions, and filtering is nothing but filter the data. This. So whenever we go for analysis, our system will show you select subject area. It is going to ask us select your subject area. So whenever we find a real time, whenever we find the subject name as uh, real time, end of the subject area, if you find the name as real time, that subject area we can use in OTP. If you don't find that uh, name, then that is used for uh, OBIA, Oracle Business Intelligent Applications. That is in the on-premises environment. And when we are integrating, then it will be used. It's one of the important question in the interviews also. If the subject area is having the name called real time, end of that. What is the purpose is? This is used to go for use this in OTBA. If you don't have, then that is used in the OBIA. 
Oracle Business Intelligence Applications, OBIA. There we will be using these options. And you can go also for writing your own database query. So recently Oracle has provided this. You can create a new SQL query that will send directly to the database. Okay. So first we have to understand, for example, if I want to build one OTBA analysis in uh, HR module, first we have to understand what are the subject areas we have in that particular module. In the subject area, what are the folders we have? And what are the fact folders? And what are the fact columns available? This all we have to understand. That is major. The remaining is just a drag and drop tool. Complete OTBA is a drag and drop tool. So designing, we don't find much difficult unless and until you are clear with the subject areas we can't find. So now I'm going to find a compensation model, costing model. You can find almost all the model distributed. These all are related to sales order. DOO, so real-time information about customers, sales orders, items, quantities, uh, distributed order orchestration, sales order holds and releases, and uh, header information, lines information, and price adjustments, sales order discounts, promotions, and other price adjustments we'll find here, process instances. Uh, this all we will find here. And also we will see the financials related, account payables, fixed assets, general ledger. So all the subject areas we will find. You can also restrict based on the role, the subject areas. For example, this user should access only benefits module subject areas. He should not access other module subject areas. Then we can go for this. We, we can attach the roles based on the roles only we can so right now what i'm trying to do is i'm going to access uh, workforce management employees information Persons real time select. <clears throat> okay, so OTBA can be applied directly in the cloud environment, and OBIA is in uh, on premises environment. If clients are using uh, multiple ERPs for integrations purpose then we'll be using that, okay? So here we can see that we have selected our subject area here. If you want to go for add one more subject area, you can add this option. We, we can go for add multiple subject areas from here. We can go for refresh data. The moment when we select the subject area here, we can see the different folders. So do you want to access business units information or departments or locations or positions data? Uh, this all we can access. I think we selected positions real day, not persons. Not a problem. We can go ahead with uh, selecting the jobs, positions and locations. So I'm trying to select the job information here. The name of the job, job family just to drag and drop whatever columns we require that we will go for it job name and corresponding positions within the job we'll see either one position or multiple positions we can find the position details and position uh, this all are fact folders total number of uh, positions like similar to the summary columns in our uh, bi reports what we see the position code 
position name I would like to have and total number of positions. So directly we can go for drag and draw, or we can go for double click also. We'll see that here, yeah, double click. The column will be tried automatically. For every column, you can go for apply sorting options here and you can write a formula. You can go for write your own formula here options, some average count type of options. And a lot of options we have in this uh, drag and drop itself and you can go for filter the data and all this. Now we can see the result here. So this is our layout title is here and uh, general layout table format layout we have this is job family name job names and job code and corresponding uh, names we have here and the head count we have head count and full time equivalent fta we have these options let's say you would like to modify the title of this go for this option edit view so you can go for select your logo, whatever logo is required. And if you want to upload your uh, custom logos, we can go for upload the options here. We can find some standard logos from building. Subtitle is required. You can go for provide here. These are our general formatting options uh, which you can easily understand. If you want to go for display the title here, it is Click done button that is title customization. We can do the layout customization also according to our requirement. We did title customization, then table format. Here we can go for view the properties, how it has to display format container. So if you want to go for fixed headers with and maximum width and height. You want to go for include null values or not template name in case if you are using separate templates we can also modify our uh, layout table layout format And we can mention the table prompts here it is drag and drop the column names here it is layout so let's say you would like to go for this job family name in the top of this table prompts you can have it here if you want to go for any excluded columns we can go for excluded here, these are the options we have selected. Now we can go for view the layout. Here it is directly. We can see that in PDF or Excel, PowerPoint, and we can directly see in the cloud environment. So, sorry. so job family wise, uh, we got an output. Here it is. So very simple way we can go for but a lot of options we can easily understand here we can go for or pivot table or graph options type of things here
we can see the headcount total number of headcount and the FTE based on the job family which we are selecting here. We don't have any employees here, that is a problem. So once we build this analysis and save this analysis, as as usual, why how we did in BI and BI report data model, this also we can go for persons analysis. Now this analysis we can access from our uh, ADF uh, pages. So how we can go for uh, analysis is analysis access is we can go for attach the report by using ADF personalizations. That's our uh, next uh, sessions we'll be discussing. I thought of I'll be covering today. So most probably that will be covered tomorrow. Okay. So this is a uh, simple BI reports and uh, OTBA reports how it can be gathered. Fine. Thank you. So we'll take uh, so let's continue after now it's 847. We'll go ahead with 855. 855 will start. Uh, two topics we'll be covering. One is our uh, project phases. Second one is our OEM methodology. Third one is a resume preparations. Thank you.